us. And we got a very lovely opposition here with Snoop, Sippy, and Sin Sira. These two of them are very strong, and we are playing with the beef guys. Mages? Oh no, race search scrim just I guess they are okay. All things considering. Moss and snare. Yeah. The battle cry is nice. Not really the bones I was hoping for. But we might be okay. We do have a gold mine over there. We definitely do fresh the silicate. So now for the next few games, I just want to play the game serious and win uh, a few good games. And if we want to win, we probably need to get fresh and resilient. Not make him get the late game power. I think you can say the same about the, the Crusaders. If they reach the late game potential, then we're gonna be good as well. We're gonna be aggressive. I also want to control the middle lane, but that's gonna be tough with Snoop Dogg in there. I'll see what we can do. We went risky by going for an early upgrade. Oh, I do not want to kill them. They're too cute. For the melee weaponry. Can we get that immune skills lane at the right time? I don't think we can, to be honest. For the gold. Eh, close. But it's unlikely that we will control the mid lane with the dark board. We might let them have it. Because the crushing dragons are more than both and Bane or can, can handle. It might be better to focus hard on side lanes. Because they will crumble on the uh, dragons as well. Let's go one more weaponry in the game. Get the pressure on here. Does he have uh, battle cry? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, Tauren, definitely not the strongest race round, and we're probably not the best with this race either. But we'll probably bleed just a little bit. Well, we'll see how it goes. Sippy did not go for us. Still probably went for him. Sincera is playing a bit up. Maybe he went for fortification upgrades. Which is a bit risky when you do it with the Silitid. If he's not going to get too much pressure, he might just be fine. Let's get one more weaponry upgrade. Hmm, it's suspicious what he's doing. Maybe he was safe up for mid lane. He's by X units, so he is definitely not AFK. Let's go middle. Hopefully, get some good gold there, and then this guy might be stealing away these two neutral buildings. We should be okay. He's gonna be feeling a little bit of pain. Then spell another drone. Yeah, we upgrade the lane first. What? Since when can the neutral building heal? Is that new? I'm pretty sure he was healing from here. What the hell happened there? While the battle masters, so they are slightly scary. He's there too. Unless we can get a upgrade lead, we might just be fine. At least this Inquisitor will fall. Yeah, they're very tough. So only his bonus. Wasn't known, but he's playing with base defense, so I think his base defense got some kind of weird uh, healing ability instead of the normal repairs. Hey, must be Bob. Nice to see you there. You big red guy. But that was uh, something I did not know yet, so that's really cool. Another healing spell. Yeah, and this guy went to against us. Great stuff. It's gonna be winning this, that's for sure. Yeah, we will still get the 75 gold there. We might be slightly feeling with the Crusaders. 
Oh, we cannot wait any longer because he will become for attack. He will become for attack on us. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm pretty certain it was the base defend uh, ability to heal his buildings. Looks pretty interesting though. Yeah, Snoop he's got a major force here, so he will probably be controlling this middle lane with the active to use place for a good while. We're not getting go over here, we're not getting too much gold there yet. But until the moment comes that we will be losing control of the neutral buildings. Although I don't know man, he does have a much bigger force, but if he doesn't have the parasite, our full one upgrades compared to his and uh, zero zero might still be very significant. Zero. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what kind of upgrades to go for, but going mitigation with Earth Shields, healing, and unyielding stamina might be the way to go. If you guys got some really good builds for the tyrant, then feel free to let me know. Yeah. My god says with this big army, she'll be winning it. The wave is not getting anywhere yet. I think we can get away with one uh, range upgrade. Let me down quickly. Oh my god, he went tier 3 mil lane. Seriously, Snoop. Oh yeah, yeah, he's gonna be swimming in the gold there. But we are struggling to silence ourselves. That's just lovely. Five seconds. They will still be fighting over here. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? Of course, we have that Dark Horde going early tier 3. Bless our life. Look at the goal. <clears throat> it's gonna be swimming in it and hopefully we'll invest most of it on silence. But I'm honestly not holding my breath. I'm fearing the worst here. Let's go tier 3 ourselves. I just want to be safe. I'd rather did not go tier 3 Melania yet. But I cannot deal with that wave in my base. Well, we also have to use defense here. But it's still not going anywhere. Weirdly enough. The Metal Miner has been good for us. But we could be winning it since he is not upgrading at all. Maybe one for fortifications. Which is something we really should be checking out here in the next 7 seconds. At least this lane is always. Yeah, we should be good here. Even if we will take a few hits. Oh, yo, yo. This game is gonna be super, super ugly for us. All free. And I would like to say it's not gonna get the most amount of reinforcements, but he most certainly will with tier 3 against tier 2 and tier 2. They're not gonna be coming in quick. If they come, it's gonna be a big second wave. Oh, yeah, boy. No fortifications. He went to, to Hive Note. Maybe he just wants to be safe and be capable of defending himself with the hero. But he's playing a dangerous game. Still not worth the 100% gold. Oh, Sippy disconnected. That's a shame. Some uh, type of guy that would just leave the game. But I still want to play with the Tauren. So we could just leave and remake. But it's been like 100 games ago since we got the Tower race. And we're fighting against Sinatid. We're dealing with Master Snoop as well. He's an incredible guy. I don't worry, Sippy. Everyone else does. <laughs> Yeah, 
Those take truly, I think can we definitely need to go up a level 8 stack. We're still slide yet somehow. Let's get it up. <laughs> I wanna be safe. Well, Satura, I suppose. I'll sing in dragons though. It's 5-3. Yeah, so it's really going hard on those unit upgrades. Oh, yo, yo. Extra healing there. I think it was 100, 200, 300, 400, and now it goes like 150 to 600. That would be a nice buff. I could be wrong, but I think it is buff. Still in the lane with tier 3. Okay, that's a ballsy move. Let's go for the healing. Let yeah, these guys do it out, but. Yeah. Nikrash and Dragons might be beating up Satura despite her being an assassin. We're not gonna join that fight with the hero. Let's go with shield, more damage mitigation. We might be able to take Troy if we keep going for unit upgrades. But it is critical for now that the Silitid wins this from his POP. If he would lose Satura, Nav, or low army upgrades, he's gonna be doomed. And look at her. He's getting wrecked. As you might expect from the Dark Wood early on. Power Price could be good once he gets the Power Price in. Uh, I mean the Parasite. So Zero died. We're stopping reinforcements, so that's a good. Nikrash taking over completely. Nikrash not looking healthy, but he is gonna survive. My HP and block should be okay. I do not wish to skip out on the power rise, man. <clears throat> Still gonna be taking this stick, right? <laughs> no, we didn't. Let's shame. I'm coming with some annoying dragon slots. Yeah, he is upgrading now. He should be fine. The Crusades will struggle with their unit upgrades. And saludos, Master Brian. Look great if we could uh, slay Nikra soon. But I am not counting on that. The bell would be a mess of upgrade. Let's most likely get tier 3 barracks and side lanes. We'll get an excellent bit of healing, armor, power for us soon. Just kept me from building on side lane. But these guys went way too easy. I mean, he upgraded and got this one controlled. He never got this one controlled, so they were tier 2 against each other. They were just still tier 1. Which explains why they were so quick on the heroes. Those dragons here, man. Nikrash not just leveling up, but he is also slowly healing himself. Yeah, Snoop is gonna be snowballing. If we will be killing these guys quickly as well, then oh, yo, yo, yo. And we're all gonna be so doomed. Yeah, we'll try the tank build. We got level 1 of the armor. Healing, just unyielding stamina, still needs to be gone. Boy Stinger. I think we are okay on the right side, really. The left side is gonna be looking ugly. My unit spawned way too early. The crystals are pain, though. This next wave could be holding us bravely. Okay, one Oxman. We can upgrade it. Ah, just a second to lay there. That's our luck. We'll still upgrade it. Get on those pesky mages. It's actually hitting my barracks. That's not, uh, not nice. 
Oh boy. Make both of them in lane. They did, when they poisoned everything around them and they got nothing to poison them, they will start hitting the buildings. Which sucks big time, but what can we do about it? Yo, yo. <clears throat> I don't like to see any reinforcements from the dog with popping in there. But the appeal is going to be critical if we want to perform okay against these silly kids. Let's get up. Scare must be summoned. I like the middle lane. Bike swing and champions. So, golly, he's a four. I'm not with the biggest amount of reposts, so we might still be okay there with Bowen. But yeah, Bowen will bleed for a little while, that's for sure. Ooh, we did some good damage there at least. He does have some decent healing as well, so come on. Voice thing it should armor. Well we want some fortification as well. It does such a bad decision, but he's still getting plenty of reinforcements. So he needs to be extreme crush, he's just level two. He did get scare me, he might go for Satura. Oi, oi, oi. He's losing reinforcements from the middle lane to defend this, which is great for Crusaders. Not so great for us here, but we might be able to manage it. Let's get more healing. There's the Tura, but behind the barracks. That's gonna be close. He's used to two, which might help him save the barracks, but it's gonna be close. He's gonna do it. Exit drone from middle should make that possible. Probably want one fortification up. Just to be able to redirect him a little bit better. We should be good here, generally. We will defeat two heroes at middle lane. Yeah, it's not gonna be a bad idea to go for the small stun upgrades. Let's get for the page first. Let's see if we can manage. Should be fine here for a little while. I don't think he's gonna send ball random lane. Eight six. Ooh. Soup is playing the aggressive game. That's sure. Research complete. I'm in the middle for now. Let's get one more barricades up. <coughs> Rather be safe than sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason why the AI should be dying quickly here. My focus would always have been on Sinitid first and then the Crusaders, even though you can struggle to deal with the Crusaders late game with that damage mitigation. But Sinitid late game with base defense, which cannot be nuked. Oi, oi, oi. It's a completely different story. Do we even want to use the defense spell there? I'm not so convinced. Let's get the stun uh, upgrades. Strong ride, sure. A little bit more range. Let's get the range factory. Yeah, we're swimming gold there. That's perfect. Oh, I'm 
least we got extra armor for the buildings. Yay. So it's leading. I guess no one is surprised by that one. More armor. Research complete. Maybe some other aura than Arcane Aura would be better for Tauren. If you would think so, then please let me know in the chat or in the comments. Definitely no expert with the Tauren, so some advice that would be very much appreciated. Look, he went to free. This thing, this is gonna be hell. It's gonna be absolutely disgusting. That wing wouldn't be so great to descend here, to be honest. It is what it is, man. I'm gonna have to deal with it. I'm gonna have to push through the pain. Not to spoil thing it will at least help us slightly with it. Level 20 death wing in our face. With Sildit on the other flank. Which means we will probably have to invest a fair amount of gold to deal with him soon. Which also means we will fall behind fat him gold wise. Then Dark might even be on his own to hurt him. At least we can do a few hits there, but yeah, it's not gonna be enough. Let's get another Nature's Embrace. Another unusual stamina. Another barricades. And do want to set, send left one hero, Bane or Ken against us? I don't think so, so we might just have to do it with both hands. And would be perfect if we can actually get one of those totems to level 4. That is sickening. <coughs> we are the town guys. Why? Push your hit. I help against Fatwing. Push your hit. I guess in painted force, but it does not affect the, uh, the hero units. Unless I'm crazy, which I probably am. He should be careful here because he could still lose this. Look, I don't have time for this nonsense. He's certainly gonna be coming in, or he's gonna be feeding the uh, dark horde. Another two, two spell. Yeah, this guy's still be struggling. Now would be probably a good time to save up some money. <clears throat> I mostly went tier 3 here so that we could get more units to defend uh, the inevitable Deathwing. But the only good news is, is next time he's summoned, he's probably gonna be summoned against him. And hopefully do a really good job there. We definitely will have a two power price to do with sit a little bit better. Definitely still not pushing through. But we gotta be careful. He's on level 10 tech damage. Disgusting dude. I don't know what to do here. Against for the seconds, Research. 
Gonna be burning hard here. He's going straight for both end. From Scaram out there. We will probably hit the uh, Weaven before hitting Bovan. So we might be saving Bovan. In the end, I think we managed this threat quite well. But I'd rather not lose the top here. Not that time to where this battle will go because Scarum is very powerful, but we do have a big force here. Even though Bovin is not looking too healthy. Financially, this really sucks for us. Hopefully, we'll level up greatly. We went to free. We might just be good over there. I think he's gonna fall. We got them damage really well. That's gonna be. I think we might be winning it. It's gonna be so so close between them. I think we win it. <laughs> Lovely. Let's get one proof strength. Not strong right. Not in penny force. We need more gold. Probably not a barricades. We went for Renault. I'm kind of dead, but this guy can should be okay moving. My 12 attack, man. Oh, yo, yo, yo. I'm struggling more and more against the city pits, so we need power price. Level 2. Might be here for the mid lane. Well, he did send Solid Y main not long ago, I believe. Nope, it's Nick Rush indeed. He will backstab us, he will annoy us. These can can heal well, so this fight is not over, but I think the is gonna be winning it. Let's get level 6 attack as well, then we'll go tier 3, get the Ancestral Spirit up. That should be looking a little bit more comfortable in the battlefield. Oh, man, what a rock battle. Oh! Yes! <laughs> he might be investing a lot against us. But we're still not letting go here. Did the spell again. Did not expect that moment. But I'm happy with it nonetheless. Moment still very much alive. And then we crash. Yeah, we're not gonna get so much gold here, and Dark Oak will probably control the lane, so we gotta be careful. Gonna be behind gold wise. Not so much now. <laughs> we're actually bleeding. But that will change because we defeated that barracks. Okay, and just at least doing a fun job over here. This thing should actually get the. Uh, Complaining force as well. <laughs> I think that 
Something I did not notice before. That's really good. If you use the healing spell here to there, which is a complete waste, the stop barracks should be looking good, I suppose. You could also go funky and get the dynamics mid lane, I guess. Get the hero kill here. We gain possession over mid lane. Oh, I could be winning this with a bit of luck as long as Karen is not hitting both end of this. Could be thrown down Bane here for some easy experience. Yeah, sadly, the tower does not have too much AoE. Hey, Both of them will die, but we should be relatively safe in the middle lane. He's might be coming in with a big army, so we better be careful. But it's still like some out. He's gonna die now. You know what? <clears throat> Let's just send him. He should be able to defeat Nikrash at level 15, even though he got a big army. Shit should be giving us some. Um... Hey, Brad. Oh my god. <clears throat> he might be getting wrecked to half life before killing Nikrash. He's gonna do it. Come on. There you go, you good boy. Another death wing. <clears throat> really? At the middle lane already? That's brutal. That'd be for the side, lane, man. I'm fearing the worst. So let's just send some back up, just in case. Get the arcane uh, our up. See dragons. If both of them will die. Uh, then we're doomed. And I think the both of them will fall. How can you send me a double death wing, man? We're still powering. Gonna take three minutes before we can send Ken up here. Yeah, I expect to have a little bit more time than we in the end did. Yo, yo, yo. The that will keep him occupied, and we might be killing him. We can always hope, right? We can always hope. Stura, it's not gonna get too far. The guys are getting reinforcements, which I do not enjoy at all. Unix stamina, it's not a poison. But I feel like we are <coughs> playing excellent game so far. Of course you use the military pass there. Why not here? The dark one is very nasty. There he goes. We got rid of him rather quickly. Also the poison is gonna be great against him because he will need the heroes to survive and he might be bring out the twins sooner or later. Let's get the boy here if we want to get more pressure on the guy. He 
it's gonna push through slightly uh, quicker than I would be hoping for. Still look good at research. Let's dip away. There's no reason why we should not kill him. the budget research complete <laughs> is there for top oh it's gonna be so much gold fame I don't think the jet was right I'll take age before we can send the special unit uh, up there again. My, we could go tip for here, but as long as he's not sending me special units, I don't think we should because he will still help me get him under pressure. And yes, he might be getting more gold. But we are looking gold, uh, good gold wise ourselves, so it's all fine. Just get enough free pulp rice. Plus, we good against these. Crusaders would tend to clump up with massive forces. Hey there, Muscle Overlord. If losses, then that means he's still for here as well. Yeah, hey man, how are you yo. Could send a double arrow here, try and control it. Hey. Not a death wing, but certainly not middle lane. That will be way too soon. It, it's not like he summoned the first death wing at 7 minutes of the game. After the enemy! Ooh, I like this. Totem, what do you do here? Uh, probably as a counter to death wing, but that's not gonna work. We could actually initiate a single target nuke. Yeah, but yeah, this is mostly just gonna be feeling Snoop with Deathwing anyway. Sorry, Sippy. Let's keep pushing there. Not a proof strength, because it is incredible. Can perform a little bit better than that than I was hoping for. We go going down. Third might is gonna be great, which means we will be in control from the late for a while. Let's try to get rid of him quickly. Get a tusk here. We might actually send tusk as soon as we destroy the citadel. Still gonna be long, isn't he? Nah, we should be fine. He's preparing to top finally. The yeah, thing is gonna get like I don't know one thousand gold for killing this Oculus. Yeah, that was a poor choice, especially if you can only send one. He could nuke him here, but he will most likely retaliate with nukes. These inhuman dogs. But that will probably not work out. Fear is it. Would be fun to send the uh, dust there now and then send him in the lane next. But it might not be even live long enough. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, 
Should we look? I don't know, might be better get the barricades up to level 6 to be able to withstand the double move. Just might be getting some hits here, but he should be able to kill at least all three heroes. Unless <laughs> he's gonna ignore him, that is. But I doubt he will. And the Total Might definitely will help him out here. Well, it's not gonna get damaged, but our units will. Pain Force. Not that on level 4. <coughs> Did send out a lot of ranks there. Oh, yeah, I also had to deal with Soul. Isn't that cute? But then Tyson, why he... should be afraid of that though. Will not take any damage at all. Just might be getting another hero kill. And I think he will have enough gold for soul after uh, sending all the heroes out there before. And another one here. I thought he might be gonna be super annoying for him though. Ox Mastery. He crashed. Yeah, we will wait for that. Can the Tusk even destroy Dalrand or Togal? <laughs> that would be insane. <laughs> Can we go for this? That would be great. I think Darkwood will get it. Let's keep bombarding him as much as we can. He might retaliate with a global nuke. But, it's, but he will like the time to kill me. He still has to be afraid of this guy, I guess. Well, I'm not entirely certain. We have to go nuclear before he will retaliate. Yeah, they're coming for his. Really mean and nasty uh, <coughs> Good look for zone. Nah, he's using much repairs, that's not gonna be enough to save it. Got too much mana, it's already destroyed then. This is the game. <coughs> and I do not want some cocky, but if we lose now, then it's out totally on us. Yeah, he's still incredibly powerful. Still got a very strong special, of course. Nice. Next one should destroy it. Oh man, Soul's gonna protect him a little bit. That's unfortunate. I wish Bebop, I wish. <clears throat> the soul's gonna be fair annoying here. Dealing unless it damage to us, but at least he will give us some good money. That point painting force. Oh, we're taking up so hard man. Playing near perfect game so far. Let's get level 8. Yeah, maybe we should not look yet. If we look now, we will mostly ensure us a victory. But let's see how the game will flow from here. We at least prevent him from looking us. That's the most important thing. If we would look now, 
he has to send I Depping here and then we would slam that. That would be the perfect play. But the time for fun has come. Depping will still struggle a little bit over there. I still struggle with both hands. One more stomp, please. Nope. That's shame. Yeah. <clears throat> Dust might be up here slower than Deathwing will be in our base. Going to do, yeah. This shouldn't be a problem though. He will be able to defend with the hero eyes soon. <laughs> if we use the mature fast, we can always look this. Might be in trouble here. There's plenty of critical uh, damage here at the back line. Ah, he's just gonna barely survive it. That's a shame. We will have a double hero to deal with the task. Yeah, we're basically toying with our food right now. about my beautiful course over here. Really bait. I did not count that to be honest. Oh we're still only tier 3 there. <laughs> That's elite. Can defend it with the uh, Deathwing if he wants to. Never want this one. <clears throat> Let's be mean. Let's make him scared. Bane survived here against all rent. Can we please get the totem? I'm task. Oh man, that's slow from the dragon. Go to death wing. Look at the mill barracks. 
He could defend with the arcane shield. He's not doing it. Arcane shield would have kept it safe. He's using it now, but oh, it's gonna stay alive. Just barely. Still play well there, even though he took a decent amount of damage. He lost the tower. He will so certainly defend it. If we can say Nikrash here, then Togal is gonna be in trouble as well. <laughs> he wrecked another tower. Beautiful. Pain. Go play with him. Let's get both in there as well. Don't tell me Bane's gonna get dapping over here to fight Tusk. Nah, that shouldn't be happening. But I think he's gonna make it happen. Unless the Skatbolt will change that. <laughs> oh, the beautiful slingshot. No! Oh, well done by Snoop. Oh, he, he, seriously, that's either perfectly played here, or he's lucky. Let's work out well for him. Both in bed be coming in here quickly. That's in the both end there. Stepping is gonna feel the pain. And we will bring the extra healing to the task. That's slow though. Ugh. He still has to be fair afraid here. He still has to be on the lookout there. But we are hurting him, hopefully, by pure might. Bit afraid that Bane could still be getting these guys, but and but with both in here. I doubt it's gonna happen. The goal might be able to hold line there. We will only have to uh, to go against Bane and Ken with the split attack. I think this is it. There we go. That's what we're talking about, boys. <laughs> ah, I said this verse will still stand. Our allies, hero has fallen. It's no longer gonna get me for some <laughs> Look at all that crit <laughs> damage, man. Oh, yo, yo. Pew. There we go. No dwell.
I don't like you. No one likes you. Redirection. Let's make him dance, boys. Death to the enemy. Yes. <laughs> what a lovely game. Meanwhile, since we play them, of course. <laughs> of course, we're a bit lucky with him leaving, but we play really well against it. We're lucky how aggressively Darkwood was against us, but overall, I would say a beautiful, beautiful game, man. Oi, oi, oi.